Hello everyone, Treeks here, and welcome back to Wario Land 3. Last time, in part 10, because uh, this is part 11, so last time was part 10. <laughs> but last time we actually um, unlocked something new. We now have the ability to use the owls that we can actually find in some of the stages. Wario is now also allowed to fly. <laughs> that is of course interesting in some stages. The first one we're going to do is E4, the Colossal Hole. The green chest has been uh, unlocked after obtaining this ability. It is one of the most prominent places where we actually saw an owl to begin with. <laughs> Let's go see if we can actually start flying. And it's also one of the more fun uh, missions to do here in the Colossal Hole. All of the other ones, especially the red chest, I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> this one is a lot more fun to do. Now that the owls are down below, we can actually reach them. Just... No, don't bump into them, just grab their claws. <laughs> and with that we can actually start flying, just like in Wario Land 2. Our first instinct would of course be to go all the way to the top of the screen. Actually trying to find out if Wario is able to clip through the top edge of the screen. <laughs> However, this is actually for the blue chest. We need to go down here, in this other side room. Where we also saw an owl. Here we can actually find ourselves the green chest mission. Maneuver ourselves around the spikes here, which is pretty difficult actually. The controls of the owl are pretty sensitive, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. Then stuff like that usually happen. <laughs> now, let's try that again. That's the whole reason why the second owl is here. <laughs> because it's not uncommon for something like that to happen. Especially in this narrow corridor over here. But okay, if you're successful... We reach a door. And of course also an exit. <laughs> but we are not interested in exits. We are interested in green chests. Nice, it's daytime, help! Oh! <laughs> well, now that I'm uh, burnt already, might as well immediately try to unlock this area. It was actually on the schedule for a bit later, but... Uh <laughs> needed to happen anyway. But like I was trying to say... It is daytime, and therefore the sun is going to be out in this area. You've seen this guy before. He also appears in this stage, in this room. Oh, and we need him again. Uh, you we cannot grab yet. Luckily, we also don't have to. Go away with your stupid eyes. <laughs> right, let's burn. Easy to actually run between walls here and get ourselves the green key. Also have obtained ourselves the... Um, access towards the chest already. However, we first need to get there. As you can see, we have a narrow passageway here where we can actually uh, fit ourselves through. And that way, make our way back. Don't have to worry about the enemy blocks here. We're not able to pick up the large enemies anyway at this point. And it's just for a musical coin. Now, this is for now a lot more important. We have another upgrade. Not the one I was just talking about, being able to pick up large enemies. <laughs> this one... As you can see, it is a boot with some wings on it. It's going to improve our jumping. As you may remember from Wario Land 2, we actually had an ability to jump higher if we actually hold the D-pad up. So far in this game we did not have that option. Now we do. <laughs> and it also works with enemies. Jumping on top of enemies and holding upwards will also make us leap higher. Our higher jump capabilities will unlock something new in the grasslands. It will unlock the third chest in the stagnant swamp. It will also unlock the second chest in the cave of flames. Apparently for those three stages we needed to jump higher at some point. I think I will go towards the frigid sea next, looking at my list. Final chest is going to be up for that one. However, it needs to be daytime because we need to go through the waterfall. And that one is going to be frozen during night. Luckily, I have my day and night tile. It's <laughs> the whole reason why I want to have that at this point. Because sometimes that is necessary. Just remember, this is a stage where you cannot just go in blindly. It has to be daytime if you're going for the blue chest in the frigid sea. Not too sure if I've shown it off already by this point. I'm pretty sure I haven't, so... <laughs> Let me to say it now. After the great chest, there's actually a waterfall. During nighttime, it's going to be frozen, and there's no way to actually thaw it out. 
Or I must say there is one way to thaw it out. Just come here during daytime. <laughs> and then we are actually able to go in this room. Here we will find another couple of um, nice snowball blocks. As you can see also a couple of heavier ones. Requiring a big snowball before we're able to break those. So just using this ledge is not going to be enough. We need to go even further to the right. Same deal here. Don't have enough room to make the snowball big enough if you start here. We need to go start over here. All the way to the right. Let's roll. And there we go. Now, don't have to do a whole lot for the chest. <laughs> I can make this very complicated, but all we have to do is jump up to the platform above the key and nothing more. <laughs> Here is our prize, a UFO, which is of course super optional. <laughs> it would have been nice if they actually implemented this in uh, making a space stage in this game. The UFO being able to fly us into space, but unfortunately no, this treasure is indeed optional. Don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> At least it is out of the way. Um, even though there is still something to do in the stagnant swamp, I'd actually like to go towards the southern quadrant first. It is one of the first stages where we actually um, really clearly saw a ledge that we couldn't jump to. And therefore, uh, that's what I'm going to do first. S1, the grasslands. Remember, in this stage where we actually saw a ledge, all the way at the bottom right of the main room, where we couldn't jump to. I think it's actually a good bet to continue over there. And therefore, we're going to get the blue chest of the grasslands. Our higher ability to jump actually also improves our ability to jump out of water. And therefore, we can also take the lower route. <laughs> because we can now actually jump towards the ledges that we couldn't jump to earlier. But this is actually what we were after. This ledge over here. That we can now reach. I think of all the ledges that we've um, not been able to jump to, this is the most obvious one. So... <laughs> Now, our goal is going to be getting Yarn Wario in order to break this block. However, in order to get Yarn Wario down here, we actually first need to break the donut blocks over here. So, all these caterpillars are useless to us now. <laughs> first, we need to find ourselves some food. And I also need to be careful not to break the barrel. <laughs> Respawn, please. Let's kill you. Or maybe not. You know what? Let's go break the block first. I'll climb the ladder uh, later. <laughs> need to go jump um, towards this section twice anyway. The blocks need to be broken. First I wanted to go get the key, but um, this also needs to happen. Might as well do it now. Well, that does mean that I'm not allowed to miss you again. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be four of them, so make sure to clean up enough of these guys. Otherwise there's no way you're going to be able to climb this ladder. Without being hit. This guy's going to be a lot trickier to hit. Bam! <laughs> awesome. Now there's only one left. One we should be able to avoid. So let him throw his apple. And then quickly start climbing. You are allowed to live, sir. <laughs> now let's go grab the key. There's a spring Wario section over here. This one is actually quite interesting. We have a stove over here, and that we need to push under the semi-solid platform. And then we need to turn into Spring Wario. Jump on the stove, and that way we can get high enough to get over here. <laughs> Blue key. Normally on the agenda would be to actually clean up the donut blocks, but that I've already taken care of. Grab the musical coin. Not that we're going to grab the musical coins yet, but... Uh, <laughs> it is here, so I might as well bring it along for the regular coins. A musical coin is, of course, also worth 10 coins. Now, we need to go down. However, we're going down as yarn. And therefore, you want to get hit deliberately. <laughs> Roll into this room. Roll back, because there's nothing you can do to stop the yarn. <laughs> and then simply walk back. There's also going to be a music coin hidden in this room, by the way. So remember that for... Next time we're going to do the stage in order to clean up all of the musical coins. Get out of the way. <laughs> Bouncy enemies. Oh, there's another yarn block here. 
why did I not remember that? <laughs> However, I think we know how to take care of it, so... Get rid of the blocks. Something we needed to do anyway. Yarn Wario is not able to roll through these crumble blocks. Only regular Wario can. But I did not remember there being second block. Not that it is a problem. Because as you can see, it's easily taken care of. <laughs> and that way, we get ourselves another blue chest today. The second one. Finishing off another stage completely. Excluding the run we need to do in order to get the musical coins. Which we're going to do later, of course. <laughs> a masked suit. And this one also seems to be optional. Yeah, I remember a chest that is actually similar to this one. Will also give us... Um, some sort of uh, quote-unquote person. That one is required. This one is not. This one will do nothing. Except for actually making an open spot on our list. <laughs> Speaking of list... Stagnant Swamp Time. It seems there's also a chest we can actually get over here after obtaining the ability to jump higher. That is going to be the green chest for this stage. In order to get that, we need to go... Down to this area. Remember this area. There's actually an annoying mouse over here. We need to go back in here again. Because if you remember, it was a bit hard to see because at that point we were uh, running away for our lives. <laughs> Little over exaggerated, I know. Not really for our lives, but we were running. <laughs> but while going through here, we might have also noticed a platform that was a bit too high up. This one, in fact. Now we can actually jump up here. Even jumping from the mouse was not going to be good enough, because there's a second platform. <laughs> and that one we were not able to reach. Ow. Root. And speaking of root, the developers of this game are also root, because this is an interesting puzzle. We need to jump from these enemies in order to get on top. However, at the same time we also need to bring one of these enemies. The lower floor actually has two enemies running around, and one of them we need to bring along. Because the top of these platforms is not going to have an enemy for us to jump on. And therefore, we need to bring one ourselves. <laughs> oh. Let's make sure not to kill this guy. <laughs> and that way, jump here for a musical coin. And more importantly for now, the green key. And that is how this puzzle works. Now, we first need to find the chest. I think I know where it is. I don't even have to check my notes. I cannot even check my notes because it's not on there. <laughs> But I don't think it is necessary. I know where the green chest is going to be. Ow. I'm always so paranoid for trying to kill every enemy. <laughs> and then stuff like this happen. <laughs> um, we need to go in this pipe in order to get the, the boss fight. However, the red key is in the way. <laughs> so we're also bringing that along. Let's see what we need to do. Looks like a ghosty fight. And it looks like there's four skulls in the corners. Actually, dimming our light. Be careful, because even if you stomp them away, new ones will actually start forming. And once all of them are gone, and the light is fully on... Then yeah, you've already won. It's that easy. <laughs> One of the few bosses in this game that you actually don't have to hit a single time. Just turn the lights back on, and nothing more. <laughs> Interesting, but um, also pretty easy boss fight. And that will give us an item we are going to be able to use. Here is the next music box. That is already our fourth one. Yeah, I'm doing this a bit too quick, aren't I? <laughs> Not really uh, dividing off the music boxes uh, too well. However, in my um, list, in the order in which I want to do things, I will actually make sure to pick up the final music box last. I know where it is. So I know I need to do that stage last. <laughs> But for now, let's go see what the fourth one will actually unlock. It's one of the reasons why I'm doing this so quick, of course. I want all of these unlockables. <laughs> In this case, it will actually create a vortex. Which means new stage beneath the waves in the western quadrant. And uh, as per tradition, whenever we get a new stage, I like to try to beat that one immediately, if I can. And that is indeed my goal yet again. West Quadrant, stage 5, beneath the waves. 
The great chests. Yeah, I'm not too sure where the key was anymore. Um, yeah, I see it. The chest is going to be in the center room in the water here. That's easy to find. But the key, that was eluding me for a bit. <laughs> At least in my memory. We need to go up here. Before we go down into the main part of the stage, we go to the top right room. Here we can actually find it. However, as you can see, there's a lot of semi-solid platforms where it could actually be. <laughs> All the way to the right up here is a music coin, by the way, so remember that for later. And other than that, we need to guess in which one of these we need to jump. Doing this second try is going to be easy, but uh, doing it first try is hard. <laughs> yeah, because usually you guess wrong. <laughs> I knew it was somewhere in the middle, but um, it is the fourth one from the right, apparently. Let's uh, wait until this runs out. was of course not meant to get hit there, but it still happened. <laughs> At least now we know where we need to go. Let's go place you down here. Fourth one from the right. And here we need to go. Right, die please. And that was the key apparently. Now for the chest, just like with the previous stage, I don't actually need any support. <laughs> That one I do remember. There's actually um, room in the center, enclosed by these currents. And just riding the currents will automatically get you in here somehow, I think. Let's see how this worked again. Ow! Oh! Oh yeah, as you can see over here, there's one small little stroke that actually goes to the left over here. That we need to go into. And then follow it along. Do make sure to do it correctly. No, oh, uh, I thought this was easy. I misremembered. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah, just need to go down here. That's how it worked. For some reason, I thought I needed to just ride it out. But no, that's not how it works. Remember this room. We're going to be here more often. There's going to be more chests that actually um, are going to be through this room. But for the great chests, we actually need to stay in this room and go to the bottom right of the room like this just use the rightmost diagonal trolley and that actually brings you down here our treasure is of course going to be an important one gray chests are never optional remember <laughs> here we actually get a detonator which we can use in order to blow up some bombs in certain stages opening up certain walls that were once blocked off giving us new rooms One of them in the Cave of Flames, giving us two stages to do there now. <laughs> the Stagnant Swamp and the Colossal Hole. The final treasure there also unlocks. Excluding the Cave of Flames, there were all final treasures. And since the Cave of Flames now has two treasures for us to get over there, <laughs> we're going to finish off this episode by getting the first one. As you may know by now, if you follow along on my list, whenever two stages uh, actually appear of the same level, then I'm actually done. Then I need to do one of them at least. <laughs> oh, uh, sir. You jumped the gun a bit. Did not want to get flooded quite yet. <laughs> I need to fall through one of these holes in order to get the key. That I cannot do now. <laughs> the water's over here in order to um, return to normal. And for some reason you need to fall all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> the chest is going to be down here, by the way. After some donut blocks. Allow me to show you. Um, how does this work again? Need to go up here. And oh yeah, these guys are actually interesting. We need to ground pound them. As you can see, you cannot jump on them normally, but ground pound and they will actually start floating upward. And that way you can actually get up here. Sir, I need your food. And now run quickly. Also fall quickly, of course. <laughs> And open up the pathway to the chest. <laughs> okay, at least that is out of the way. Now in order to get the key. I got flattened a bit too early. And therefore was not able to get it the first time through. But we still need to do it, of course. It's going to be down here. That's the... One, two, three, four. I need to count, come on. <laughs> Six, seventh hole. It's the seventh hole. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ah, come on. Not fair. 
Get away from me. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the one. All right, and now we can finish it. Let's make sure it gets flattened, because in order to get past that corridor up there, we need to be flattened. Now we do want uh, you to actually hit us, sir. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> he took a swim. Something we also need to do, of course. We cannot grab the chest if we are still flattened. But this way we can. Thank you very much. 20 minutes have passed. This is our final treasure for today. The only red chest that we're getting today. We've actually been able to get a chest of every color today. Interesting, huh? <laughs> but this one is going to be for a car. Not really the car that we know Wario from. That was actually introduced in um, Wario Land 4. His staple car. Also used in Mario Kart Double Dash. Also in certain WarioWare games, if I remember. This chest is, by the way, optional. The treasure is not used for anything interesting. There's nothing Wario can actually do in his car in this overworld. At least one of the two stages in um, Cave of Flames is now taken care of. Might even consider doing the next one immediately at the start of the next episode. <laughs> not too sure yet. Still need to um, decide how to make an as chaotic order as possible. Something I always love doing. Making my order in which I go through the game as chaotic as possible. <laughs> but that you probably already noticed. I will actually start working, try to find out how to move on next time. And I will hope to see you then. Treeks out, and thank you for watching.